Good morning, church. It's great to see you. We're glad you're here. Let's stand together. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Claim his name above every other name. Put your hands together. Help us out. Here we go.
Thank him for that this morning. Can we give him praise as a church? Yeah. It's good to see you this morning. Uh, I want to kind of, we don't talk about kind of logistics of worship, but I want to give you a little bit of a snapshot of reminder of what we're here for. And it's, and it's different from a, from a concert. Um, but before I do that, I, the other day I was sitting at breakfast with my two-year-old son and, uh, and we we're his mom was still asleep. It was Saturday morning, and we were both eating cereal, and he's sitting right beside me, and I'm just flipping through the, on my phone while I'm eating and, and uh, checking whatever, Facebook, and then I look over to him. He doesn't have a phone. Well, he has play phones, but he has, he has just his hand. He's got his hand out like this. He's got this, and he's just doing this to his hand <laughs> like that, and uh, wow, right? I'm like, okay. Um, and I'm not going where you, th- I'm not going to guilt you about social media right now. But what it taught me is like, he is doing whatever I am doing. And that pushes me obviously to want to do the right things. But it was also an encouragement because I will do the same thing of whatever I behold, right? So whoever I'm looking at, I will end up doing that. Whatever you fix your eyes on, whatever you're beholding, you will become like that. And so for us, it's so important, this is where this is going, for us to fix our eyes on Jesus because when you do that, you, you begin to do the things that he does naturally. I didn't have to tell him, son, you do this. He just, he just watched and he did it. And so if you're frustrated that your actions don't look like Jesus Fix your eyes on Jesus, and you will begin to look like that. That's called sanctification. That's called following the shepherd, right? And so how that relates to worship is this. We're coming in from all over literally the world on Sunday morning, all different kind of background circumstances. But the thing that we want to do as fast as we can is to get everybody in their room with their eyes fixed on Jesus. And so we will start with songs that, that say things about him and who he is. It's the lion and the lamb. You know, he's broken every chain. Who he is and what he's done is what our job as a worship team is to do that. And so um, maybe a picture is like if people on earth are right here and God is in heaven, we're hoping to be right there in the middle to join the hands of people on earth to the Father in heaven. And once, and once that happens in this environment, once the momentum of the room is focused on, on Jesus, then we just try to step out of the way. So we're trying to get your hands connected to the Father's hands this morning and every single Sunday, and your eyes fixed on his eyes. And so whenever we get to like instrumentals and stuff like that, different from a rock concert or a concert, it's, it's not for you to watch the guitar player or to watch whoever's playing. It's for you to go vertical. It's giving you space for you to hear from God or for you to to fix your eyes on Jesus. And so this next song we're gonna sing and Harold's gonna lead it is Oh Praise the Name. And after the after the third verse it, it says, My eyes transfixed on Jesus' face. And there's gonna be an instrumental right after that and I know that God's gonna reveal himself to you. But that's the purpose of those moments is for you to fix your eyes on Jesus because he is the author and the finisher of our faith. He's the one that's going to empower you to be like him. Amen. Let's praise him for that before we sing this song. One more time, praise him. He's worthy. Yes, God.